Alright, hey viewers, this is WatchMeSC, and I'm bringing you a test FP VOD, just to see what people think. This is Plants vs. Zombies. I'm just playing uh, one of the levels that I'm at. So, I'm just going to be playing it. It's a defense game. I downloaded it from Steam. And I am on a roof right now. These are the zombies that you're going to be facing during the level. The ladder zombie, I've never faced him, so I don't really know what he's going to be doing. Could be pretty dangerous, but we'll see. On the roof, you need plants to pot in, or to like put the, or pots to put the plant in. Um, and you need these things to shoot. <coughs> oh, excuse me. These guys are supposed to, I don't know what these guys do. I'm going to try them and them. And then, these guys are like removal spells almost. You can use them to just like straight up kill guys kind of so I'm gonna use a wall too and another wall you'll see how this game progresses don't worry I'll give you a little oh man it's starting me close so now I only have three rows to plant in the zombies are gonna start coming down here it'll show a bar in the bottom right I don't think my mouse is gonna show up so on the bottom right um well maybe my mouse will show up I don't really know I'm not too sure but if my mouse shows up, you'll see where I'm pointing. It's in the bottom right, where it says level 5-3. And now in the bottom right, there's a level progress bar. The sunflowers give me sun. The sun is like what it costs to build things. So this guy is here. I'm going to put a squash. A squash basically will kill a stack or, of units. If there was like 10 zombies, he would kill all of them. But he's only going to kill the one right now. And I placed the pot up there so I could have him have like a defense base started. I want to get my line to right about there. And luckily for me, he's coming in the same one. I'm going to put down a cabbage thrower and he should start attacking. He just shoots his little cabbages. And by the time he gets here, I should be able to put down a walnut, which is basically a wall to protect my plants. Actually, it was a little overkill. I'm going to try a kernel pulse, see what they do. Maybe they got... I don't, I, I've never used them, so they might be not as good. And you, I like to get my economy set up as fast as I can and set, set up sunflowers. Whoa. Tossed the butter on his head. He doesn't like that. But I think he might not be as good. Not sure what I think yet. But I'll toss one down anyway just because he's ready so basically the point of this game is to survive each level these red things are like the bigger waves and they send a lot of units um, so now I'm going to put down a pot and a squash I'd like to keep each lane covered pretty well I start to cover each one slowly this one has is covered right now that one's covered but that guy has a lot of hit points so I'm going to be putting down another one to make sure he gets killed cuz they'll eat your plants the zombies will eat your plants they are not limited to just brains and if you put down a chomper those guys are pretty useful they kill them in one shot if you if you kill a guy in one shot generally they tend to drop money which gives you upgrades access to other upgrades like extra seed slots stuff like that so now I'm just trying to set up my defense. I'm waiting to set up the walls and stuff because if you don't need them, don't, there's no need to put them down until they're needed. I don't know what the butter ratio is, like when they throw butter down and when they throw down regular stuff. But you'll definitely only need one butter per per level, or per per lane, in my opinion, from what I've seen so far. So like I said, I use a lot of removal, like chompers. You can place them down if you use a, if you have enough for a pot, and then one of those other like a wall or something like that. You can basically use it like removal. If there's a fast zombie like here or something, or like a really strong zombie that I'm not prepared for, I can put down a flower pot right in front of him, and then put down a squash, and the squash will like activate right away and kill him. 
So if you're interested in this game, let me know, because I was thinking about doing an LP of it, but if no one really thinks it's that interesting, that's cool. I will just play it, because I'm having fun playing it, so I figured I might, might as well do an LP. So here comes the huge wave of zombies. I have my flower pot and, oh, and my removal ready. I'm going to go ahead and use a removal spell on this guy, because I don't know what he does. He looks kind of, he's probably pretty strong. So the squash is like basically, like I said, an instant kill. And if I put down this guy and they kill him, I could put him down and yeah, get another instant kill on that guy. Like I said, just use them like a removal spell. Since I have so, so many rows of sunflowers, they said to put like one row of sunflowers. But for me, I think two rows is a little better. I'm just going to put down a wall so I don't waste the flower pot there. I got the extra money anyway. And there's a reason I'm not really putting down flower pots whenever they're ready is because I just kind of want to save them for removal. I could set up like a more forward row, like um, more forward defense and get more of the shooters in place. But if they break through, I don't want it to be difficult. Like they, they can break through the front line sometimes. It's happened to me before. So I just want to keep safe. Probably just going to record this one level. See what everyone thinks. Post it up as a test commentary. Probably going to do that for a couple of different games. See how interested people are in each game. The old butter. The butter seems to be working kind of okay when it gets them stunned. So now I'm going to put a chomper here. See if I can get myself some extra money. Like I said, some, normally when you one-hit kill units, they have a, I, from what I've seen, they have a higher tendency to drop go, like money. But that's probably completely wrong. There's other types of removal spells, like there's like um, a cherry bomb and a jalapeno. A jalapeno kills like a whole row. Cherry bomb kills an area of effect. Chomp this guy up. Now I'm getting a little aggressive just because I have so much extra sun. I can just set up removal in a lot of places. And chompers respawn quick. So I can pretty much set them up. They're going to get, I'm getting my, see sometimes the chompers will get killed because they take a long time to digest. But I can protect the chompers with squash usually like that. Put a chomper there and a nut there. Chompers have a range of one so they can eat past other chompers. This guy, yeah, should go down. Now I'll put a chomper there. So far I seem to be doing pretty okay. Whoop, wrong guy. Drop another chomper here. Like I said, two chompers do work really well. All oh, those guys are annoying. They toss zombies down. There's, they're like bungee guys. Not bungee the game, like Halo. But, oh, you bastard! See, now I'm gonna set up another couple of catapults there, and a flower pot right there with a nut. So far, it looks like we're doing okay. Get my sun. You gotta actively click the sun. Like I said, I don't know if the mouse is gonna show up or not, but you have to actively click the sun if you can't see. And you have to actively click the gold. Looks like this is just about over. It's probably gonna be one more. The final wave? Or is this the final wave? Oh, that's the final wave. And at the end of every level, you normally get a card. So this is going to be it for this level. This is Watch Me SC signing out. I'll show you what I get this time. Cocoa bean or something crazy like that. Let's see what we got here. Coffee bean. Planted on a mushroom to wake it up. Uh oh. Yeah, mushrooms are usable only at night. Anyway, this is Watch Me SC signing out. Let me know what you guys think and I'll do a whole LP of this game.